So I'm analyzing the OK Bears NFT Meteoric Rise. On OpenSea sales activity, the volume is at an all-time high today, with a new floor listed at an astounding 180 Solana, or $17,000. With both of these trending up day over day, it looks like this project has real traction, at least in the early stages of launch. Compared to the board apes, about two months after they launched, they were doing about $700,000 in sales volume. If you compare that with today's OK Bears volume, which is about 500,000, you could see that this project is nearly as hot as the Bored Apes were uh, about a year ago at this time, but they're also much younger. If the trend continues for the next year, we could see the premier blue chip NFT in the Solana space, if not all of crypto, Ethereum included. That would be truly amazing to see. It would mean that a lot of Ethereum holders would jump into the Solana NFT ecosystem, which is overall really great for the industry. And that brings me to my next point of analysis. Two days ago, Inspect uh, NFT posted a tweet thread on OK Bears saying that, quote, the OK Bears clearly captured Soul's attention, brought in a bunch of new users, and even converted some from ETHLAND. They posted this chart saying that 63% of Solana PFP pictures changed from other projects to OK Bears, 31% didn't have a Solana PFP before, and even 5% converted from Ethereum PFP to OK Bears PFP. Keep in mind that this data is already two days old, and with the latest floor prices, you'd expect that more have converted. So, from the Solana community, many OK Bears converted from Ketson Creek, Tombstone High Society, the Stoned Frogs, and the famous Fox Federation. Not to mention many others that didn't already have a PFP that just changed theirs to OK Bears. Diving even deeper into the OK Bears user base, we can find out that the top three Solana influencers that converted to the OK Bears were the Soul Playboy, who came from Ketson Creek, Sol the Solstice, who came from The Gods, and The Gods is actually a suspended Twitter account, and Function, who came from Grim Syndicate. So overall, the OK Bears brought in a lot of new players to the NFT scene in general, and even converted a few from Ethereum over. With the increased exposure to NFTs added by way of Twitter profile pictures, overall adoption will naturally follow, converting many that previously held Solana but never bought an NFT. They'll most likely join the ranks of the OK Bears and keep increasing the volume and raising the floor. My only question in the next few weeks is, can the OK Bears incentivize their community to hold for the long run, providing real utility, just like the Bored Apes did a year ago? What do you think?